welcome to the artwork of CP, everyone. And also welcome to Ask Win because this is a double episode here because it's easy if we do double episodes. So those of you on the artwork of CP feed and those of you on the Ask Win feed will both get this episode today because um, this is the way we do it. And for those of you who have followed me for a little while, um, I know we didn't do this on the artwork of CP originally like we were supposed to, like we were supposed to, because the artwork of CP was just a test project. Now it's turned into a full-time job for me and fun for Danielle. So it's, yeah, it's a little green monster that we can't control. And Danielle's looking to me like, yes. And so um, for those of you that don't know, Danielle, let me back up. Danielle is my BFF for 20 some odd years. And she'll correct me on another. And how Danielle and I met, again, is through the fabulous Carolyn Jasmine play camp. She, at the time, drove 10, 10 plus hours, mind you, um, out from Kansas City because in Kansas City, <laughs> It is. Well, okay. I thought 10. Here, Arizona is 10. 12. So 12 hours at the time. And this was from 95, I'm about to say, to then her finally moving out. And correct me if I'm wrong. I get the date wrong, I know I did. Yeah. I was five. you. Okay. I was five. Ninety-seven. Correct, 97. <laughs> Cal and Jasmine, that's why I said 95. Cal and Jasmine started in 95. That's it. Cal and, Cal and Jasmine started in this whole green monster <laughs> of part of. Um, and I'm still a part of it, even though I'm 10 hours away now. And so Cal and Jasmine started in... 95. So they didn't start the summer activities until 97. And granted, we, we still do our productions in a unique way. Granted, I, um, I went last year, as, well, this year, as you know, I went to the um, Cal and Jasmine play. And of course, everyone loved that I was there. Daniel jumped in my lap like, don't let me go. I haven't seen you in about a year. So, to, so don't let me go. And of course, that's how uh, Danielle and I started our friendship. And I'm going to make this clear because you guys are asking me all the time. No, I'm gay, but no, absolutely capital not. No, absolutely capital and no, absolutely not. Danielle is not my girlfriend. Danielle is my girlfriend in a totally 
separate different way. Okay? Got it? Good. <laughs> Got it? Good. Because people keep asking me that and it's driving me nuts. It's driving me bananas, you people. So people keep asking me that. Is Danielle your girlfriend? No, air quotes, no, thank you very much. She is my girlfriend in a totally, 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 totally different way. Got it? Good. No more subjects than on that. So, for those of you who don't know, and for those of you that haven't been following our two little brains monsters that chase us everywhere we go, when I say chase us, we'll get to it in a minute why I say chase. But um, for those of you that don't know, we have, we have a condition called cerebral palsy. Cerebral palsy is a lack of oxygen injury at birth. Danielle, and this is public knowledge, so Danielle doesn't mind me talking about it, because it's in her original book. Thank you very much. And she'll put the original book, the Amazon site, in the show notes. If Dan can thread, you can do it too. Thank you very much. And Danielle had, well, was supposed to have uh, at home birth. She got the umbilical cord wrapped around her neck. And that's what started her fun adventure with cerebral palsy. Now, my fun adventure, I have been getting mixed signals on my fun adventure here. I believe, and I need to ask, I need to do some on that to get to work on that, but for me to do in investigational work, it would be that I would have to talk to a family member that I don't really feel like speaking to, and we'll get to why in a couple minutes. And so, yeah, but I am 99% positive because my mother had asthma, she needed the amniocentesis testing. And I am 99% positive that they hit the amniocentesis sac, where upon the amniocentesis fluid leaks and sent my mom into preterm labor, which is 100%. And so I believe that my little fun adventure with cerebral palsy started because dumb dogs hit the amniotic sac, amniotic fluid leaks, and of course sent my mom into preterm labor. And preterm later, labor went, um, she went into preterm labor in June. I was supposed to be born in September. Talk about a fall baby being born in the summer. Yes, I was supposed to, so that's why the fall is my second favorite season, even though we don't get it down here where I live in Arizona now. But um, because I was supposed to be born in September, I landed up being born in June, one pound, 12 ounces, 27 weeks. So yeah, that I believe was my little fun adventure with CP. Well, fast forward to 2010, I had a uh, experience that would change my life forever, and that was losing my mom. So I thought, okay, that's it. I'm going back to journalism school. 
which I'm still working on to this day. And I am, okay, that's it. I'm going back to journalism school. In the meantime, I'm going to learn how to write a book. Well, um, me learning how to write a book led up to me listening to podcasts to figure out how in the world I'm supposed to write this book. And so I wanted to see what the big purple button on my iPhone could do. And so purple is my favorite color, by the way. And so I clicked on that big purple magical button. And then I typed in self-publishing books. Well, um, self-publishing books came up in the search and I clicked on the Creative Pen, which is run by Joanna Penn out in the UK. She's one of the top best-selling authors in the um, UK, making over a million dollars, I believe, in her publishing field. Now she writes through as a JF Penn, she also helped all of us, including me, um, learn how to write and publish books the smart way. So I did that. I um, published a book. My friends and family were so excited, but my then it took off because the book took off and it still is in existence today, 12 years later. The book took off because not only were my friends and family buying it, but complete strangers were buying it. And I, that being said, I need to buy more copies of it because I have no copies with me anymore. I bought one copy down and never, never bought awesome copies again. So that being said, I keep forgetting to do that. And so after my book was published, I get a text message out of the blue and she's laughing at me. She goes, I, she, Danielle, goes, I'm going to read a book too. And I'm not like, okay, you can't, you can't type or you can't type, you can barely speak, which means, um, she can speak, I should say that. She, Siri has a hard, Siri's Apple speech dictation has a hard time understanding Danielle. So I'm like, I'm going to be the supportive BFF and say, I'll support you, but I don't know, <laughs> I don't know how you're going to do this because you can barely type and barely speak to a speech dictation. And so within a year, with help, with support, two years, thank you. No, back up. I did it in one year with help, with support. She did it in two years. Thank you. Two years. She helped no, yeah, so we have no time. We had okay, okay. We had no one. Thank you. Back up. So I did it in one year with help and support. She did it in two years with help and support. And we had no word prediction on the cell phones. Yeah. Uh, yes. After a quick time. The, the real name. 
Well, was it after or before? Before. Okay. Yeah. So now, now on the iPhones, if you notice, there's word predictions. So that helps people with disabilities pick out words. And so basically on the laptops, and I wish they had this feature, and I wish, and there's word, um, there's word prediction programs, mainly co-writer, but I don't have co-writer anymore. Co-writer got defunct and dragon naturally speaking. <laughs> doesn't work on the Mac. So if anyone is listening to this CP story, can you please give us so I'm not kidding you guys. Could you please give us suggestions on what we can buy and then show on the laptops that can help that assimilate quick sight? on the laptops, please, because we're struggling. We're still struggling. <laughs> I am still struggling to figure out what, um, how to decide, but maybe I should take a time. Uh, you do have to on the old Okay, because Danielle is on a MacBook Air now, and she's not, ah, even though we love Apple, we're going to have to help. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to have to help. Uh, uh, Oh, how cool is that? Now we need help because both individuals are struggling. Both individuals are majorly struggling about that. I mean, I can, I can type. I use speech dictation, but speech dictation is not that good when it comes to writing books. So, needless to say, and you're like, what does this have to do with podcasting? Needless to say, I decided to, after publishing the book, I decided to venture in to podcasting. Well, I didn't know, unbeknownst to me, I looked in the Apple podcast app for sample palsy, and there was nothing. There was nothing. I'm not kidding. There was nothing when I said that. And so basically what landed up happening was I thought, okay, Cerebral Palsy was going to be my niche and I'm going to do an interview show. Well, interview show took off. Interview show is still up and functioning. Thank you very much. Interview show moved with me to Arizona and Phoenix, Arizona to be precise. And I lost my dad in the process in the process of doing the artwork of CP, I lost my dad to stage for lung cancer. And I, and my dad was a bigger supporter of my books than he was my podcast. And I still have a book on my laptop in honor of in honor of him, I just haven't plunked at the keyboard for as often as I should. But my dad was a big supporter of my books 
then he was my podcast, but that's okay. We're slowly new media, new medium and old school people don't get it. New medium, old school um, people that like books get books, but people don't understand podcasting, which is okay. We'll teach you guys. <laughs> We'll teach you guys. And I don't know how many of you actually listen to my work. I can see the stats, but I really can't tell where you're listening from. We need to fix that. But that's behind the scenes. And that's um, Danielle and I need to fix that, that because I can't really tell where you're listening from. But I can't get it exact stats, no one can. So when the book came out, I decided to do a podcast after that to get other people's stories out and to educate people about CP. Then fast forward, Danielle is doing her magic thing on, and she still does it on getting interviews on my schedule. And I said, hey, why not get Danielle behind the mic? And people that know her also can hear her voice and have an intimate moment with her. So I'm like, well, let's do something with Danielle and do, um, do something with Danielle and get her behind the mic. Well, her behind mic turned into the second green little monster that eh, we can't control now because the second green little monster is steadily growing. Now, Grant, one tip I'll give you is a niche podcast with two co-hosts is not as successful as an interview show because of you don't have the leverage of the other people's people of the guest um, network and so you don't have leverage of the other people's network so you don't have the leverage of a publicist you don't have the leverage of the publishing network. You don't have the um, network of the interviewees network. So yeah, but because I got this show Ask When up and off the ground, I it was time for me to, to venture into something else. Now, next week, Okay, now that we did the intro episode again, out of the way, next week we're going to be talking about, uh, and this is a hard subject for me to talk about because I get a little bit of a soapbox. So just be prepared on a little bit of a soapbox. I'm going to explain to you what not to do when you see when you see a handicapped accessible fan because yeah <laughs> yeah it's interesting I have learned a lot of lessons with my car and as you guys know I own a vehicle and I even though I can't drive so I own a vehicle but I can't drive. So I have friends that drive my vehicle. Primarily, I have a driver, on call driver, which makes me sound so elitist. I even told him that eh, not to use the term driver unless you're in a professional sense. Don't use the term driver because it just makes me sound so elitist. And yes, I do have a driver. And yes, 
what happened yesterday was I almost got hit by a vehicle because they weren't paying attention. They weren't paying attention. And so please, 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 if you ever see a handicapped accessible van, most vans are side entry. My back, my van is back entry, which is a heck of a lot easier than side entry because when you're pulling into the parking lot and a vehicle pulls up next to you, there is no way you can get into a side entry van. I do not want a side entry van, even though people say it's easier. Back entry is my um, jam, and I think back entry is easier. And although when you're backing out under a gravel driveway, <laughs> Um, which I will tell you why I'm backing up onto a gravel sand driveway in uh, the next couple weeks. As soon as I get expert at the activity that involves a gravel sand driveway, as soon as I get expert at it, I will be able to announce what I'm doing, Danielle knows what I'm doing, but we're not going to announce that until I'm, I'm a little bit more of an expert, but I have another PT friend, and let's just say I have a friend who is sweet, and let's just say I have a friend who's helping me. Actually, I have a lot of friends who's helping me with this particular PT. And I am super excited to announce what is going on and why I can't do podcasting on Tuesday afternoons. Thank you very much because, um, and I'll get into why and how and how this as a format of PT physical therapy came about. So next week we're doing van etiquette. And then the next week we may do as a format of PT, depending on if my big giant friend doesn't do anything interesting with me on it and I'll leave it at that and I am super excited to you can hear the excitement in my voice and I am super excited to announce the format of PT but unfortunately you may not see video of me doing other format of PT because we're not allowed to have phones up there, which is a good thing. So, because we wouldn't be concentrating on the phones, not the friends that need concentration. So, um, yeah, we are not allowed to have phones up there. And so big, giant something doesn't get spooked, doesn't get Big giant something doesn't get spooked by a phone. So we don't know how to have phones up there. So you probably won't see me in the video of different formats of PT, but I am super excited to announce what other format of PT is. And those of you who do as a format, I'm calling it as a format of PT. Those of you who do this in general, Danielle does this in general, and we're going to explain how Danielle does it, how I do it. And so, mm. you, yes, we all, but. Ah. So, 
we're going to explain that big giant the format of PT after next week. And we're super excited to explain. But for those of you who do this in general, help because I have, I do have a clue what I'm doing, but I have no clue how to do it in the sun and in a outdoor something in where big something goes. And I have no clue how to do it in an outdoor arena in Arizona. And I will tell you one thing, I bought a helmet for this particular thing I'm doing because you need one, you need one. And I am super excited to be on, be on something doing PT. And so if I complain, I'm a little bit sore. I, you guys will figure out why. And then you guys will have to uh, somehow contact me and ask me how was alternative PT and help me, <laughs> help me because I haven't, I haven't done alternative PT God in 10 years since 95 or 96. So yeah, help, help. And I will get, I will get the appropriate stuff for alternative PT. Alternative PT. And then I will tell you, alternative PT is a little bit expensive. <laughs> a little bit expensive. Big giant thing requires uh, expenses that I wasn't expecting. And so uh, big giant thing. Um, at least I am not paying for big giant things. Hey, or food. <laughs> That is, I'm lucky enough, and I will, um, we'll get into that later. We'll get into a big giant thing. Oh, we may switch episodes next week and do big giant thing this upcoming weekend. And then van etiquette, because big giant thing has to do with van etiquette. And at least I'm not paying for big giant things food or big giant things shelter I get to play on big giant thing and it's gonna be great and it's yeah it's just going to be fun and it's I am super excited to be around big giant thing except I spooked it the um I scared it with my power tail, which never again will I spook big giant nutbag. We're getting closer. Nutbag, I spooked, and I'm so sorry that I spooked <laughs> nutbag because I admit publicly I did not know what I was doing. They said, um, they said, bringing a power chair out there is fine and oh no we asked we said well when is in a wheelchair do uh, my roommate even asked do we bring a manual chair or do we bring a power chair and they go bringing the power chair is fine oh no <laughs> <laughs> oh no i spoke to the dang the dang something and so that made is mad me and I just have to be careful about that thing because when I did this 10 years ago I was walking and I wasn't in a power chair but we'll learn how we might I might have just have to punk the power chair against the wall and um and leave it at that and transfer into a manual chair that is not my own. But we'll just see. Or, or I may just bring my walker up to this 
event just so I'm standing there and it's an easier, it's an easier thing for something that gets scared, gets scared of power chairs. And so I am super excited to explain what's going on this next weekend because on Tuesday I get to live my dream again. Live my dream again on Tuesday. So, and I'll explain to you guys next weekend. And then I will explain to you guys next weekend what we do as alternative PT. Danielle and I have always been doing alternative PT. We do traditional PT, but alternative PT works better <laughs> on yeah. bodies. And so this <laughs> is <laughs> yeah. this involves humans and I think that moves and I am super excited to get up on the second that moves and and I'll explain to you how they're going to do it with me because as I said when I was younger I could walk and uh, I don't think this something when I was younger spooked as easily <laughs> because I knew the writing instructor very well and the horse was older to begin with. So he was a little bit more calm. And so I, so, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, let's just leave it at that because yeah. 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 I, yeah. Oh, I gave it away. I gave it away. I gave it away. Yes. Yes, we'll get in. Yes. Yes. Go. Thank you for following us. And this week, you guys, I'm going to try and fix that. Fix the time because this is too much. Yeah. <laughs> too much. So I'm going to try and fix the time. And yes, we'll talk about the giant things next weekend that are not vehicles, that are not bingos, they are big, giant, lovely animals. And so I'm super excited, but we have to get out of here. And so thank you for following us and we'll catch you guys next week. Bye you guys. Bye.